Jeremy and Robin have already reduced their utility bills by using the sun to light their house and redwood screens to cool it. Now they're going to try to reduce waste by reusing their shower water to irrigate their garden and turn their doggies doo-doo into compost. Coming up, this compost heap is going to the dogs. Okay, Samson, here's where you go, right in here. Aim carefully. Oh, you like it? And later, the walls of this eco home are filled with a NASA invention called nanogel. It's already blowing okay. away. <laughs> That's $4,000 worth of nanogel right there. <laughs> Here in Eagle Rock, Jeremy and Robin Levine are turning their old Spanish bungalow into a new eco haven. They've already created a really cool space and cut their power usage by installing lots of windows for natural light and rolling sunscreen panels for passive cooling. But they still need an eco smart way to recycle their dirty water, as well as their uh, dog's droppings. Their solution is to build two ingenious systems. One uses shower water to irrigate their plants. The other uses dog poop to fertilize their lawn. You guys ever seen a very uh, dangerous yeah. wild animal before? You can get licked to death. When asked which I wanted to see first, naturally, I chose the water. Jeremy's plan is to recycle all the water from his family's showers and sinks to irrigate his lawn and plants. This is an indoor courtyard. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, awesome. Put a shower head way up here, and the water is going to fall through here. Buried under here is a grill, and then it goes through a filter, and then that filter takes it to a separate ornamental garden at the very end of the system at the backyard. Are those in place? We're going to show them to you. So what plants will you put in? Well, we have, we have, we have someone who has suggested the best thing is horsetail and cattail. Those simple, tall grasses mm -hmm. are seem to be the best thing for consuming all the uh, biological agents that might be in your shower water. This house is turning into a science project. The average American uses 400 gallons of water a day, 120 for the lawn alone. So by reusing indoor water to irrigate an outdoor garden, one person can save over 43,000 gallons of water a year. That's why recycling shower and sink water is becoming a very popular idea. And when you have teenage children, you'll be very aware of the use of water because they'll be taking it. You'll be horrified. Hours. Yes, you will. Right. <laughs> Jeremy's next project is a little more out there, but just as practical when you think about it. Prepare for the monster. OK, monster. 90% bear, 10% dog. What a bear, 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 and bear. Is Big that bear. his name? No, his name is Samson. It's Samson. Samson. Everybody thinks he's part bear, so we're, we're Yeah, this is Lady Jackpot. Now that I've met the dogs, it's time to start building their compost heap. Well, I have to say, this is one of the wackiest ideas I've ever heard of. It is. A built-in backyard model dog poop compost digester. System. Yeah. Yikes. I know. But if you think about it, but let's think what about do you do with dog poop? Yeah, look at the reality. The reality is, you know, we got approached by some people in the, in, at the local dog parks, and they have a giant problem, which is thousands of dogs and mountains of poop that just get taken to the waste dump. Mm -hmm. So we Googled online and we found that... What uh, did you Google? We Googled... Uh, dog poop? Dog poop composting. P-O-O-P? Yeah, actually, P-O-O-P. That's the official term. <laughs> poop worked, actually. <laughs> Jeremy has already created a prototype poopster, and it's actually very simple to make. It's the same thing as a food digester, what they call a food digester. I thought a dog that. was a food digester. It is, a, yeah. Unfortunately, there's a, a two-time digestive process here. The dog it doesn't want it. goes through. <laughs> it kind of keeps. And you do it the second time yeah, around. We do. We do. <laughs> exactly. Here's a garbage can. Yeah. Get it anywhere. Yeah. You punch holes all over it. Does it have to be metal? It, it doesn't. It's easier to pull it out later if you want to move it. And then we're going to take this little baby, which is septic system digester, all natural. What is it? It's a mix of bacteria. It's something you uh, probably want to want to drink that's, it. That's to get it started. That just kickstarts it. Baby, they, basically, that's liquid poop. Basically, it is liquid poop. It's liquefied, and it's a little more active, like an active culture. And that's going to get it going, put a little water in it. So we're just giving poop an opportunity to turn back into essential nutrients that will 
help to fertilize the soil. If you bag it and you throw it in a dump and it's sealed to the dump, it takes an awful lot of time to break down. Some of those things have no aerobic activity at all. So in this case, a lot of air, a lot of stuff going on, and it disappears soon. So and then you a, can move the can. This is a mini septic system. It's a mini septic, exactly, you got okay. it. Before we put this thing together, I'm gonna drill some more holes in the can so air can get in and help decompose the waste. I mean, this could be the latest conversation piece at cocktail parties. Just think. What a pickup line. Hey, do you hey. have a dog poop composter? Right. Hey, what do you do with your dog poop? Do you do the green thing with your dog poop? I don't think girls That'll stop them dead. Yeah, I don't think girls are gonna go for that. Well, the thought of the proper disposal of dog poop gets me very, very excited. I have to see it. It's in your eyes. I do. You, know, I mean, you, seem, you seem pumped up about this. I am. <laughs> hey, what'd you do today, honey? Yeah, I made a dog poop digester. Really? So, you've dug a hole. You've got some gravel on the bottom that promotes drainage and air movement. Absolutely. Keeps, keeps the can from being so tight against the, the ground. And I get it. We're going to wrap this with this geotextile, this filter fabric. Right. Which breathes and keeps the roots and the soil from clogging the holes. And also keeps the fines in the earth from um, filtering into our poop digester. American dogs produce about 10 million tons of poop a year. And most of that winds up in landfills. The idea is to deposit the doggy specimens in here every day, mix them with that liquid digester, and in about two weeks, the poop will turn into nutrient matter, seep through the holes in the can, and fertilize the soil. All right, so let's see what he thinks. Sassy, we'll take a look. He's on the lease if you want to. Can we see the system, huh? You promise not to jump in? Huh? OK, Samson, here's where you go, right in here. Aim carefully. There's where you're going to be going. What do you think? Huh, you like it? Nope, not interested. So it's a big hit, I can tell. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> he loves it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, can I eat on it or can I pee on it? Yeah, that's, what that's right. Jeremy and Robin had a challenge. To light and cool their house using minimal energy and dispose of their waste without harming the environment. Their solution was inspired. They lit their house with sunlight, cooled it with a sunscreen, and found inventive ways to recycle their own water and their doggies. Well, you get the picture. Well, you're going to have a great home. It's going to be a lot of fun to live here. Thanks, man. Yeah. And uh, thanks for being the pioneer on a lot of this hey, stuff. Hey, thanks for hanging all with right. us all day. My pleasure. And good luck. Thanks. All right, take all right. care. Thanks, guys. Come again. <laughs>